Because those, those are real, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're shattering dreams, but making more come true. <laughs> I, I please everybody. Yeah, let's use that word. God, you're hot. I just want to take you home and introduce you to my mum and just spoon oh, you. Oh, she'd love me. She would. She would. You seeing anyone at the moment? What a ridiculous question for Red Card. <laughs> just put it out. I see if... lots of people. Uh -huh. How do I become one of them? I'd have to kill you if I told you. I'm fine with that. I'm so fine with that. Hello, this is your smart entertainment host Amelia and today we are talking about beauty, what it means and entails to be beautiful, and, of course, what you can do to be beautiful, whatever your age. The digital era is an image era. When a beautiful face shows up, the cameras are turned on and the soap operas are shot. Everything is sold or bought easier. This is how the scientific study of beauty has started. As the human society becomes more influenced by the media, where the image plays such an important role, looks like the old behavior codes and the values of our parents have been overthrown, people are more interested in the covers than in what's behind them, and we are ready to let ourselves fooled, if the hoax is nicely wrapped. Since the beginning of times beauty has a mass hypnosis effect over us and this has been fully exploited by the television and movie production companies, in their striving to take over people's attention and, eventually, the world. Along with our attention come the money, popularity, notoriety and guess what? Even the political success, a field where wisdom and assertiveness should probably prevail. But what does it mean to be beautiful? According to a Finnish study, a woman's beauty is defined by two elements, stress level and body fat. Of course the relaxed women are perceived to be more attractive, here's a somewhat surprising reason to check out a counselor, right? As well, women that are neither fat nor skinny are perceived to be more attractive, a good reason to take good care of your nourishment and keep it in balance. Science proved that physical beauty consists in the harmony of the features and a virtual sketch of beauty should comprise the following elements Moderately fat Moderately tall Rather blonde Wearing makeup Not excessively sedentary Not exactly depressed and, of course, well rested Do you fit in? Here are some data obtained through the scientific study of beauty. Beauty hijacks the attention. A study proved that the presence of a beautiful face while solving a task has the magical power of diminishing the performance. Our goals may be put on hold by beauty because beauty is like an enigma which becomes the main priority and requires an urgent solution. Beauty is like a drug. It's been proven that brain, in relation with beauty and the chosen beings that detain it, behaves just as in relation with the opioid substances. Beauty makes us happy but, unfortunately, it's also fooling us, and render us addicted, like drugs do. In a study, the men who have been watching pictures of beautiful women preferred instant gratifications due to the influence of those pictures. Beauty is stressful. Another interesting study has proven that a woman's beauty causes in a man a state of nervous tension, similarly to parachuting or bungee jumping. The man's stress rises with the conviction that a particular woman is superior socially, or out of his league. A high level of the stress hormone cortisol in the blood can worsen conditions like diabetes, sexual impotency or heart disorders. Beauty is fertile. According to a study, women are perceived to be more attractive when they are in the late follicular phase, near ovulation, when their fertility is highest. 
the specific hormones influence face features and even woman's voice. She becomes like a flower with an intoxicating scent for her partner, but not only for him. Beauty loses to the character. In spite of this huge race for appearances, a study has proven that, at least in China, knowing that a physically beautiful person has a despicable character, determines a negative evaluation of their attractiveness. Beauty Pace A series of studies on the relationship between earning potential and physical beauty not only has proven the commercial potential of physical beauty, but also shed light on the discrimination that fat or short people have to deal with at the workplace. Moreover, it has been proven that blondes who wear makeup and exercise are able to earn more money than the rest of us. Beauty makes us responsible. You have probably heard about the halo effect, which consists in the delusion that a good-looking person is probably also honest and professional. Even in court, you are more likely to get away with a smaller punishment if you are pretty. Nevertheless, in the end, the beautiful ones are judged more accurately because their beauty draws attention and people want to know who they really are. Therefore, beautiful people have to think a lot about their choices. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. As a previously presented study suggests that we lose interest in beautiful people if we know they lack character. Another study has proven that the attachment hormone, oxytocin, makes us overrate the attractiveness of our partners. The oxytocin is released in moments of physical intimacy, through hugs and kisses. So probably when your partner tells you that you are beautiful, that has nothing to do with your latest haircut. Stress diminishes the attractiveness. Seemingly, the stress level is inversely proportional with the sexual attractiveness. The more stressed we are, the less attractive we are perceived. Is it a relaxed demeanor the secret of attractiveness? perfectly logical from an evolutionist standpoint because stress affects the reproductive potential and this is subliminally acknowledged by the potential partners. As you probably noticed, is worth being beautiful in a superficially oriented world, at least at first glance, until people know more about you and your character, which might help us wake up from this hypnosis. But it could be already too late and, after all, you might discover that, in the name of beauty, you sacrificed many valuable things like time and money. On the other hand, because we do live in a world where the covers mean almost everything, it is important to know that our attitude is able to transform a dull personal image into a presence endowed with some hypnotic features. Think about the timeless sex symbol Marilyn Monroe used to say that she can also pass unnoticed if she chooses to. Here are some things you could do in order to improve your physical appearance. Take care of your body, your lifestyle, consisting mainly of nourishment, circadian rhythm and exercise can be your best ally or your worst enemy, whatever your age. Invest in your clothes and finery. They have the secret power of making you invisible or, on the contrary, highlight your whole personality. Take care of your soul. As previously mentioned, you shouldn't be surprised that a moderately attractive person with a relaxed attitude and a happy demeanor can come across as more attractive than a potential sex symbol with a perpetual strained expression. Um, you ever been to Australia? I haven't. Would you like to go? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go.